get into the business of broadcasting if you're miserly, if you know how to cut corners, if you're not afraid to buy in bulk at Costco or go to Aldi, because I still do that today. So you've got to be able to hit the ground running and think about the fact that instead of getting paid monetarily, you're getting paid in basically in the experience. Small market TV is really cool. I love it. I can't even imagine. I don't even want to go work at Channel 5 in Chicago. Yeah, if they called me, I'd probably go and fill in for Andy in the morning, but, um, but that's not where I want to be. Think about this. In a smaller market, or maybe even a mid-sized market, you can be more creative at what you're doing than if you go into a big market. Because in a big market, it's this is how it's done. It's always going to be done this way because it's proven that this works. The cool thing about small market television is, you know, I can try something new without getting permission. I can try things. Is there a different way that I can tell my story that someone is going to be more interactive with me, that they're going to understand it more? And it's really cool. Also, the fact that I'm the chief meteorologist, and I get to supervise a team of meteorologists and train them so that they can move on to big markets. And watch how the people that are on the air deal with those problems. How do you make use of that time? And so being in small market television, we get good at that. We get good at mistakes. So if my weather computer goes out, or if the Doppler radar freezes, I got to be able to deal with that problem on the fly to get through it. Um, so build a website, get on social media. Um, and one of the things that I've learned is to make sure that you research what is important on social media. For instance, I cannot stand people that have the same thing going to Facebook and Twitter at the same time. Twitter's a different thing. Twitter is using the least amount of words to get the most attention. So you almost always have to tweet something, not send it, find a different way to say it, not send it, find a different way to say it that's shorter than that. 